fried chicken. <gasps> yes! <laughs> the fried chicken and the spaghetti here, but we're gonna tear it apart and dip it. Dude, the fried chicken is where it's at. Yeah. It's so good. Mm. All right, guys, so today I'm joined with Maria Tang. Why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself? I'm Maria. <laughs> Hi, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, am Polish and Chinese. I was born in Poland, but I grew up in Beijing all my life. Well, recently I played Suki in Netflix's Avatar, The you Last did? Airbender. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have you heard of it before? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. Um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> how long ago were you cast as a, a Suki? Or like, how long ago did you hear the news that like, oh, I'm gonna play Suki? Uh, well, we shot that, let me think back. Like, probably got cast three years ago. <laughs> yeah, so that was, a, so. that was a minute that ago. Was yeah, no, the post-production took a while, so. Yeah. And what was your like reaction to being cast as Suki? Were, did you watch the series before? Like, were you a fan of the series before? So I, I didn't watch it before uh, getting the audition because I grew up in Beijing and it wasn't really a show anyone knew about in China. Mm -hmm. um, I think it helped that I didn't know how big of a deal mm -hmm. it was or else I think I would have been way more nervous about it. <laughs> but I remember starting to watch it when I got the audition, where I, even though it was under a code name and dummy sides, like I knew it was for Avatar, so mm -hmm. I started watching it, figured out that it was Suki and loved it so much I just kept watching mm -hmm. it, <laughs> even though I didn't know if I like got the part or not. Um, but yeah, and then did a callback chemistry read with Ian who played Sokka mm -hmm. and got the role. <laughs> what was your reaction to like, I guess, hearing that you got the call for Suki. Just pure happiness. I called my family right away after. They had no idea what Avatar was or anything, but they were just <laughs> so like, your yes! your family didn't know either? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. I think the movie actually was released in China. I, that's like my only correlation oh, we to don't, it. There is we no movie in Boston. So. We don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but... Yeah, the Dai agent's coming in. So after after the after like the series came out, yeah. like, <laughs> dude, there was not like a day that I could scroll through TikTok without seeing like, have you seen like the first edits of yes. Suki on TikTok? I have. It was like the like the day after it came out, like literally every three videos was like a first edit of Suki. I know, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I had so you've seen them. So you've seen them. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Like some of them are just like these group of guys, like, you know, it's always like the taking off the makeup and then like <gasps> I'm like, well that's movie magic. I don't actually look like that. There were a whole group of people on set who helped me took it take it off properly and then put more makeup back on. So yeah. <laughs> Can I show you one? Sure. <laughs> I probably saw it. Someone You've probably, probably seen it. it to me. Okay, okay. Have you have you seen this video? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the one that gets sent to me the most. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every day for like, I don't even know, probably like a week. I'm, yeah. I'm glad the fans like her. <laughs> I understand that you are half Polish and half Chinese. Mm. How was it like growing up in like a, a Polish Chinese household? Um, well, we like spoke three different languages all around the house. So, um, and it was always, you know, a mix of cultures. I think my mom really wanted to make sure that we both spoke the language. Like they easily could have spoken Russian to us, which is the language my parents mm -hmm. communicate. But, um, so both your parents know Russian. Yeah. So that's, that's where they met. They met in Russia. They speak Russian to each other. My dad speaks Chinese to me and my mom speaks Polish to me and my sister because they wanted us to both know the language, but also the culture. Like we would celebrate like Polish holidays, but also like Chinese stuff. And yeah, we fly back to Poland every summer as well where um, my uh, grandparents are we have a farm on the countryside of Poland so it was like yeah I really I guess I was in touch with all parts of my culture <laughs> very cool all right well I am gonna introduce you to another culture hopefully uh -huh. so have you ever had Jollibee before once and I once. loved it you have <laughs> I've only tried the fried chicken <laughs> have you ever been to the Philippines before no I have not never no is it on your bucket list? Yes, it should absolutely. Be. Oh, I, I thought you were going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to go to the Philippines. <laughs> well, it should be. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and bring out the first one. I didn't know they do other stuff than fried chicken. Yes, so fried chicken is the thing they're most known for. Okay. But uh, it is a fast food chain in the Philippines. Which I did not know. I thought it was like American. <laughs> like, oh, I yeah, no. Like, so Jollibee, Jollibee is very, very Filipino. 
Um, it's yeah. like it's the largest um, fast food chain in the Philippines. It's even like it's even bigger than McDonald's. So this is the cheeseburger from Jollibee. So why don't you just give it a quick okay. taste and then Should we dig in? tell me what you think and give me a rating from like one to ten. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> mm. Mm. I like the bun a lot. I feel like usually with burgers it's either sorry let me finish eating first you're good you're good <laughs> take your time to chew yeah i was saying um i like that the bread like you know like mm, what's that shake shack's bread is very kind of sweet and like soft and the word usually a burger has like a very like bready bread but this is like a nice in between where it's like soft and a little sweet but still like a patty mm -hmm. yeah this is good is this your order at jollibee what do I usually get? I usually, I definitely am usually more of a, like a fried chicken guy. Mm. Like Jollibee's burgers, okay, okay. <laughs> but it's really where like the chicken fry, the fried chicken, that's where like Jollibee really shines. Pasarap, the pasarap, the pasarap, my chicken joy. Yeah, the the um, first time I had it, first of all, I was like, oh, well, fried chicken. And growing up in Beijing, like KFC had the best fried chicken, just mm. way better than the KFC here, actually. Ah, ni hao. Um, but when I tried Jollibee for the first time, I was like, what is this? And this is my Filipino <laughs> friend. She was like, you've never had Jollibee? <laughs> and I was like, no. I've seen the signs here. And I thought it was an American thing, so I didn't know it was Filipino. All right. Great. One to ten. Give me a rating. 8.5. Solid, but I think I like more stuff in my burger. And I think it's a very, like, cheese, yeah. like a it is a very plain cheeseburger. All right, let's move oh. on. Meanwhile. <laughs> Did you go through my channel? Yeah, oh, I was no. just trying to see. Yeah. Do you listen the to any Do you listen to any K-pop? No, not really. No. Yeah, I'm just getting to it. I like XG. Which, okay. Are they K-pop or are they like? They, I guess you can kind of count XG as kind of K-pop. Yeah, yeah. yeah their group is mixed. They're promoted in Korea and um, they train under like a K-pop system, but oh. they're all Japanese. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> no, but I went to KCON very randomly. A you did go to KCON. Yeah. Where'd you go? Uh, the last one in LA. Well, just a friend of mine and me. He had like a suite or whatever. And no I was way. like, I don't know anyone, but I'm here for the vibes. And then I really liked XG, so. You guys ready? Okay. Yeah. So this next item is the fried chicken. <gasps> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it actually has we're two rolling? items in it. Yeah, we're okay. still rolling. Okay. Um, so we have the fried chicken and the spaghetti here, but we're gonna just try the chicken first. Spaghetti? What? Is it like a full meal? Kind of. Oh! Ta-da! Ta Alright, so we'll do the fried chicken first. Okay. How do I just do it? I mean, I think we Okay, so besides XG, who have you listened to? Just XG. Just XG. No, all I need right. To get I gotta. Into all right. I'm gonna. I, I am um, struggling with this, with this gravy wait, as well. I'm confused. I didn't have it with gravy last time. Are you supposed to dip You're it? You're supposed or to dip it in gravy. Like oh. gravy is what they. Okay. Oh my gosh! I feel like this is gonna spill. Should I just? You can dip like, it. Yeah, just use your hands. That's. I'm just gonna. That's uh. That's Pinoy style. Pinoy style. <laughs> Pinoy. It's just like another word for Filipino. Okay. okay. Yeah. Cool. You're supposed to dip it? Yeah, just, just dip it. I mean, or you can like tear it apart and dip it. Dude, the fried chicken is where it's at. Dude, it's so good. Mm. Amazing. 10 out of 10, no notes. <laughs> it's so tender. No, this is a 10 for me too. Oh, oh okay, like... already. No. Yeah. You didn't even get like a second to savor that. Mm. I just love that it's so like, I don't know, this fried chicken. I, I grew up in um, like a Korean area in Beijing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Korean fried chicken is good too. Mm. Well, sometimes you want just like a plain fried chicken. Oh, I see what you. Well, the gravy is good. The I didn't think it. Gravy's part of it, right? Like without the gravy, ten. With the gravy, eleven, twelve, easy. <laughs> but I also don't want to mess up the crispiness of it. No. So I'm trying to. No, oh, this crispiness stays if you. <laughs> A lot of people call like the Jollibee fried chicken like the best fried chicken in the world. Like, I some, that. some survey did like a survey of like all the fried chicken brands in America. Mm -hmm. Jollibee on top. It's so good. Easy W. 
Why the spaghetti? Why does it come with spaghetti is what I'm confused about. <laughs> spaghetti you like? That's just... I actually don't know why it comes with spaghetti. That's just how they do in the Philippines. Lots of spaghetti. <laughs> Thoughts? The, the fried chicken? Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> 10 out of 10? 10 out of 10. All right. Let's move on to the spaghetti then. Okay. okay. You've never had Filipino spaghetti before. Oh, is it different? It's a little bit different. It's a little bit different than Italian spaghetti. Okay. So where Italian spaghetti is more on like the savory side, okay. uh, Filipino spaghetti has a little bit of a, a sweet to it. It's a little bit sweeter than like Italian spaghetti. Sweet! Mmm. Okay. Cool. Let's try it. How do you want to begin? Ta-da. Oh. <laughs> no, you're good. Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> I just like wouldn't pair fried chicken with spaghetti, which is interesting. Well, like, maybe why you'll not? change your mind after this bite. Mmm! Let's see what you mean. It's on right. the sweeter side. It's a little bit sweeter. Whereas like Italian spaghetti has like oregano and it's like more yeah, on like yeah. the savory side. This one's a little bit sweeter. Mmm. It's better than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, because it's, mm, it's fast food, right? Mm -hmm. I don't think it counts as fast food. Okay. We're not expecting like gourmet spaghetti. <laughs> it's better than that, yeah. All right, I have to ask you a question. Yes. Oh, right, the actual interview question. <laughs> We're just eating. After this bite, sorry. Okay, you're good. I'm dying to know. Yeah. So, Suki is from the Earth Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Who do you think is the strongest Earth Bender? About to start some fan wars here. No, I think it's an obvious answer. You think it's obvious? Okay. It's tough. Okay. Metal bending? I am not tough. I am Melon Lord. I have another question for you Suki versus Tai Lee. Who is the better hand-to-hand -hand fighter? Well, here's what I think. Tylee becomes a part of the Kyoshi Warriors. Mm -hmm. I think they both have, you know, she comes from an acrobat background. She's very good with agility and speed, mm -hmm. and but she didn't train as a warrior since she was a kid, the way Suki was trained. Like, not to say, I feel like they're they're a match in, when it comes to non-benders. I do think Suki is like stronger physically, maybe. Yeah, and she does the sword And Tylee's stuff. more acrobatic. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know, which different strengths. So I feel like that it'd be a good match. And I'm thinking like, you know, in the comics, like later on, like she um, probably learns the, the chi blocking stuff from Tylee, which oh. is kind of what sets her above. And Tylee would learn Kyoshi's ways with the fans and everything. So I would say it's a match fight. What do you so think? So it's high. Yeah, what do you think? I don't know. I think that we should have Suki versus Tai Lee in season two, mm. if you're asking me. Because yeah. <laughs> we kind of get it in the cartoon, but it's like, it's very quick. Like, you yeah, never see like an all out fight. Like, I know they fight at the prison, like the boiling rock. Yes, on then, top of that, like, yeah, tram top, thing. But it was like, it was like three seconds. It's like, I want more yeah. of that. You know? It, it didn't really like end in like one person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, then like with Appa's Lost Days, it was like Azula, with Momo. obviously like she's a bender, so she's got the upper hand. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, rating on the spaghetti. Um, seven out of 10. All right, so okay. for this next item, uh, I got some pies for you. I got pies. two pies actually. Wow, all from Jollibee. Both from Jollibee. So one is a peach mango pie, mm. and the next is ube pie. Ooh. Have you ever had ube before? Yes, I love ube. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna like the ube one. Okay. Thank you. This is the peach one, this is ube. Okay. Cool. So this one's a peach, this one is the ube. Nice. Okay. Which one are we trying? Let's start with the peach mango. Peach you, you've like, had this all like multiple course. times, right? Okay, yeah. Of course. <laughs> so I'm the only the new one. Okay. So peach mango is like their most popular pie flavor. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah, so the Philippines is known for its mangoes. Like it's like one of its major exports. Those are like so, grow a lot. So like yeah, the the Philippines is like famous for their mangoes and like their mango mango flavored like desserts and treats and mm, stuff like that. I love mango. Is it mango season right now? I think uh, it is. I don't know actually. I mean, the I Philippines, keep it the Philippines like doesn't really have any season, so it's always mango season, right? Is it? How's the weather there? Is it like warm? It's just it's tropical, so oh, it's, okay, it is okay. warm. It is very humid. Mm. What's up? 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess there is like a rainy and like a sunny season. Mm, so it's like tropical. It is very tropical. Humid. It is very humid and hot. It makes sense with the mangoes. Yeah. This is good. Okay, <laughs> mango pie rating. For a pie? Or 9 out of 10. Honestly. 9 out of 10. Yeah. All right. And I like that it's not too sweet. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I think with the mango. The ultimate Asian compliment. <laughs> Not too sweet. Too sweet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I thought like mango would be very like, <laughs> you know, like just very sweet, but it's actually not bad. Ooh. Is ube a big part of desserts too? Oh, ube is like, yeah, like one, of our, one of our main flavors in the Philippines. So like mango is a big flavor, ube is a big flavor, pandan, pandan's a, a what is big that? flavor. Mm. Okay, I love that. Mm. That's good. Wonderful. This is even more not too sweet. Like that one is still sweet, but this is like perfect not too sweet. Not too sweet. <laughs> Certified by Maria Zhang. Crispy on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, ube is a great flavor. I mean, you can't really go wrong with ube. I gotta make more ube desserts. You bake? Ah, uh, I can. I try to. I don't have a lot of recipes. I, I know a little bit. What about yourself? Like, I make a really good. Chocolate chip cookie. Oh, <laughs> I yeah? like baking because it's so specific. It's like way more butter and salt than you think in each, but I won't tell all the secrets. <laughs> this all is right. great. I love it. Thoughts on the ube pie? I think I like it more than the. Mm, what did I give the mango? You gave it a nine. Nine, right? But also a nine. Also a nine. Yeah, depends on what you're in the mood for. I think both are great. This is more like not too sweet. <laughs> but <this laughs> not, is so sweet. not too Sorry, sweet. Sorry, I keep saying boom, that. Boom, boom. <laughs> so. Final thoughts on Jollibee. I love it. When is your next trip to the Philippines? <laughs> Hopefully soon. <laughs> for Jollibee. <laughs> Just for Jollibee. Was it, was it different than you expected? You said before you only had fried chicken. Not the fried chicken. I like, literally did not know they make other stuff. And I don't know why I haven't tried the other stuff. So yeah, that's a right. surprise. Well, but the, the chicken, I think, was my favorite. Chicken? Yeah, that's not like. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Yeah. No notes. Perfect chicken. So good. It was perfect. What is next for Maria Chang? Um, you know, just hoping for two and three to start soon, so that will be exciting. Otherwise, I have a short film that will premiere soon called Made in USA. Uh, it's a part of AFI's DWW Plus program. Uh, it's written and directed by a Taiwanese director. It's kind of like a, it's, I only speak uh, Mandarin in it, like a mix between Crazy Rich Asians and Breaking Bad. It's about Chinese birth tourism. <laughs> so yeah, that's a fun one. It's more Chinese the, breaking bread, huh? Chinese breaking bread. It's more like you know, <laughs> crime, comedy, everything. And so. are you Heisenberg? I am not. <laughs> I am not the one I who knocks. I play a pregnant <laughs> Chinese teenager. <laughs> <laughs> that is it for our video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And remember to check out Made in the USA. All right, see you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.